Hi, my name is Saurabh Suman and today we are reviewing the Skyland series by Lakeland. This is the 5560 Vintage J Base and it is the custom model. What is custom about it is the pearl block inlays and the fingerboard which is essentially made of Indian laurel wood. Now the bass is damn cool, you just heard it. I love the sound, I just love the way it sounds. What we're going to do now is we're going to look into the parts which are also epic by the way which I didn't realize until I read about it more went deeper into it. So let's get into that and just look closely what's going on on this bass. And then we'll check out all the sounds with all the different pickup combinations. Starting from the headstock of the bass, the color that you're seeing is called the Lake Placid Blue color. And on the back side we have the hip shot tuning pegs, these are the hip shot ultra light tuning pegs. Very cool because they've got a lot of grooves in the gear, which basically means you can precisely tune your bass. That's a good thing. Right here we have the nut. This is made out of a material called Delrin. So Delrin is not the same as your regular plastic. This is used for industrial work. It's used to make gears. It's used to make uh, a lot of uh, nuts and bolts and many, many other things. So it's going to last you a long time. As good as having some sort of a metal attached here. And on the fingerboard we have the pearl block inlays that you've already seen. And the fingerboard is made out of Indian laurel wood. The back side of this thing, this is made out of maple wood, which is pretty cool. The body is made out of ash wood. Let's look at the pickups now. These are the Lakeland single coil pickups. They're the J-style pickups, basically. And uh, single coil, as I said. This is a passive bass, remember that. No batteries inside, nothing. It's all gonna sound woody and nice, and it's going to use all your finger strength. Coming to the bridge, this is a dual access bridge. What that means is basically you can insert strings from the back of your bass, from here, and let it pass through the body. Or you could just insert it from here. I don't know if you're able to see the holes. Yes, you are able to see the holes. So these are the holes if you want to access the bass straight from this bridge. Now what happens is, when you try to, uh, let's say, put flat pounds through the body, from here, flat wound strings, they're going to break most of the times. So you want to put them through here. So you have that choice in your hands. If you want to use round wound strings, you can go through the body. And if you want to use flat wound strings, you can go through the bridge. That you can do. And of course, you can try putting these things through the bridge straight rather than the body and it will give you a different tone. Cool. Now let's listen to this bass a little and check out a few combinations of the pickups and all. Thank you. 
So this base is crafted in Indonesia and it's put together and completed in Chicago. That's what it says on the back, which basically means they make everything in Indonesia and then they send it to the US. And of course, as I said, it's put together there. Now this base is plecked in Chicago. What does that mean? There's a thing called a pleck machine in which you put this bass guitar and it measures everything about the bass. It checks if, if the neck is fine, if, uh, if the frets are fine, if the crown on the fret is fine, is the nut properly done. And it just measures everything to microscopic detail, which basically means when they put together this thing in Chicago, it's going to be precise. Precise, like much more precise than a human can ever get it. So in terms of engineering and construction, it's, it's a piece of art. Do I recommend this bass? Yes, I really do recommend this bass. It sounds fantastic to my ears and I, I know you like it too. If you want to buy it, go to Alberto Music or go to the stockist.in. I'll put all the details in the description where uh, you can find the price and everything else related to the bass. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't. We meet soon. Bye bye.